right, the music is down low. Let the show begin! <laughs> Welcome everyone to another wonderful, exciting, super awesome episode of Character Design with me, your dear friend and uh, humble host, Din of the Monies, or just Din Money for short, just Din for even shorter. Uh, yeah, we're about to continue on this lovely magical girl. As you can see, I just came straight from class. Right now, I was studying, uh, oh, I came from Snape's class, it was the worst. He's like, why are you even at this school? You're like 30. And I was like, ah. Uh, so it was pretty rough. But yeah, anyways, figure while we're drawing characters that are magical, we might as well get a little magical ourselves. So as you can see, I, uh, I am wearing my robes and uh, Gryffindor scarf given to me directly from Dumbledore. Excellent. Hey, what's up, Sin? Thanks for coming out, dude. Uh, I just want to do a quick shout out. Uh, I was going to do another shout out, but a real quick shout out to Sin. Uh, he's a really awesome dude. Great streamer. Definitely check him out. Uh, but I want to do a shout out to the uh, the Power Glove right now, or the Smudge Guard, as uh, some of you may or may not know. Definitely a really awesome uh, tool. Uh, maybe I should do a whole other demo on it, but I just wanted to do a quick shout out. The, the link is in my uh, little info down there. It's really, really awesome. Well, traditional digital, definitely pick one up. It's kind of a uh, the mock of a true autist. Yeah, the lady that uh, sells them, she's really nice. Definitely, uh, definitely get yourself one. Super awesome. So, all right. Yeah, let's talk about what we're drawing today. What the heck are we drawing today? Uh, we're continuing this character for uh, a game I'm working on called Faulty Apprentice. So, right now, you know, like, uh, you guys know me, I'm always so freaking busy. Uh, again, I'm just open this up now, so let's try and kind of treat this as, you know, you're working in a studio environment, it's like, hey, we need you to continue on this piece, here you go, you know, or whatever, you, know, you never know. So it's like, alright, cool. So the artist gives you this file, what's the first thing you do? Command, uh, Shift E, merge all. No, what? No, that's not what you're supposed to do. That's probably the worst thing you could do. That's like, look at that. And it's like, okay, no. <laughs> You'd be really, really messing yourself up doing that. So don't do that, please. The first thing you want to do when you get, instead of merging all the layers, all the visible layers, we want to just look at all the visible layers. So I want to kind of just go through this to get an idea of what the heck is going on here. You know, before I kind of start messing around with anything, it's just, you know, and the good way to do that is I'll start, woo. Um, I'll start kind of looking through some of these layers and let's mark that one. It's an important one. And I'll see that some of these are in clipping masks and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of a good cue as to like, oh, okay, maybe this, this drawing is in certain blocks, like certain areas. So I see another one over here. I can imagine that's the wand. All right, cool. Yeah, so generally when you get a piece of artwork that's you know either not yours, you haven't seen it for a while, you kind of want to go through it first before you start I mean, naturally, yeah, sometimes you just want to be like, uh, I just want to start painting. I don't have time to look through all this stuff. Yeah, you can just merge it all. Like, if I, if I did, like, if this was, like, super rushed, and it's like, we just need to add this one thing to this. Like, you know, there's like, all right, we just need to make this a small edit. Maybe you don't need to go through these layers. Maybe I could just go to this, like, root clipping mask layer. You probably can't see because Sylvanas is in the way. But, uh, yeah, right there, I could just merge that command E, and then I'll merge up this entire clipping mask section. So... That's a, that'd probably be the way I'd start going about it, instead of just merging everything. If you are going to do that, just at least separate maybe the background and the wand and the glasses. Like, there's certain things that it's like, yeah, you can be like a grouch and just, or like a painting Nazi and just be like, no, merge everything. But just for me, just be like, you know what, Din's a really nice guy. He's always there for me. Maybe this one time I won't merge it all for him. So. Excellent. Whew. Got some nice warm coffee cold water and then I'm wearing this freaking scarf and these robes. Uh, to be honest, this is like a, a like a like a thick like bathrobe thing, so it's kinda weird wearing it. It's like super hot. But that'd be fun, you know, so let's do it. Paint magical stuff. It's all magical. And as people trickle in, if you have any questions when we get started here, when I start to you know like if you're like, what the heck is a clipping mask? Like why would you have a file that's not even yours? Uh, again, this is I did paint all this stuff. I was using that as an example, though. This is like a, I just haven't worked on this since you guys last saw. It. I'm busy with other stuff. But if you do have any questions anytime, just do a little uh, at din money, and then you know I'll see you in the chat, and it'll be really really cool. Ah, uh, st man. Oh, crazy dude. Hey, thanks for coming out, man. Sick. Cool. We've got uh, two really high caliber artists in the chat right now. So and that's also a good thing. If you are watching this and you want to pop in the chat, say hello. It's definitely a good idea, just because. 
yeah it, it's nice to network and there's some really cool artists in there if you're not you know maybe you're an upcoming artist definitely say hello in there maybe you know maybe they can answer some questions for you feel free to share your own work you know it's all we're all artists here right you know artists unite I always say that kind of stuff digital artists unite but I don't want to exclude traditional artists so we'll say artists unite the autistic alliance cool the positive AA all right sweet so I'm looking through I see my main shadow area I think where we're gonna pick up on this one is kind of where we left off where we're about to start we're about to start creeping right now we'll kind of know we're gonna be creeping around but we're gonna be adding contact shadows that was me like zooming in right now like so we're gonna be kind of zooming in a lot more and we're gonna be uh, tightening up little areas like this like this is a perfect example right here where we just have these like a uh, it's like, yeah, we want this nice, clean, like, bow kind of going under here. But you see how this highlight is crossing over this line? See how there's some of these, uh, these little outlines um, from this, like, stroke layer? Those are kind of bleeding over there. So we're going to be cleaning up little stuff like that. And it's really uh, getting really tight in there so we can get, make it nice and crispy. So it's really easy to read. No confusion. That's, that's what we want. We want zero, zero confusion. So really quick, I'm just going to attack these uh, these little outlining stroke things. What's kind of weird about those is, since it's an outside stroke, because you look at when I take those away, it's like, there's nothing even there. But when I add those two, or when I add that back, yeah, it looks cool in some areas like this, but on others, it's kind of like, yo, bro, you're getting in the way. So we, we kind of we need to fix that. So what I'm going to do to solve that is, you know, since I created this monster, I know that it is stroking kind of on the... Uh, it's later on the outside, so that means I have to cut in a little bit more into these sections than I normally would in order to get rid of them. See? Hey, see? They went away. They're not going to hurt you guys. You're safe again. Awesome. Cool. Existing intestifies. Yeah. Oh, hi. Sweet. What's up? Cool. Sweet. Awesome. Welcome, uh, Dev Texture. Thanks for coming out, man. Yuki Yashiro. Thanks for coming out. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, it's good to exactly. It's good to see other artists where it keeps you motivated. So when you see them do something cool, it's like, what? That was so cool. Like, I want to do something really cool like that. You know, it's like kind of a like a my fan. Like, a, I don't draw a lot of fan art, um, but because I feel like I, I do draw a lot of it, but I draw my own way. Like, I'll kind of like I'll be inspired by something. It's like, oh, I'll see something. You know, like you're watching like Dragon Ball and you see like that crazy like. Ah! you want to like for me it's like oh i want to like capture that moment like i want to make someone feel that same way that that made me feel right now like oh it was so cool you know i want to use that in my own story kind of thing i want to get that level of tension you know so it's like uh that's kind of the way i like to do uh i don't, I don't know why I, how where i got into that but that's kind of the way i like to like, again see another artist work that's where i was going with that yeah it's a really really good motivator because it's like you know and i'm a strong believer in like just the uh I don't even know what it's from, but yeah, just the idea, like, I guess science, you know, it's kind of like what one man can do, another can do, so it's like, well, if that guy, you know, is able to do that, I could do that, you know, what's cool about drawing is it, a lot of people say, like, wow, like, you're so talented, way to go, talent man, and it's like, yeah, well, it's not really talent, like, you know, I guess we are the talent because we're in the creative position or whatever, hey, thanks for the, uh, follow, let me, uh, yeah, they're awesome. Thanks for the follow. Oh, I missed it in time, but you know who you are, and I thank you. Long arm. Hey, what's up? Thanks for coming out. Awesome. But yeah, I kind of, uh, sorry. I totally forgot where I was going with that. That's all right. That's all right. Cool. Well, look at these. These cool, like, little, like, uh, outline designing layers going into the hair. We can't have that. We don't want her to have a bad hair day. That's the last thing we want. So I'm gonna yeah be scanning around. Let's just take care of this little highlight problem right now. And again, if uh, you know, I don't know how much longer that last video is gonna be. Can I buy one? Yes, yes. Damn dude, you're good. I'm trying. I'm trying. Awesome. Oh. I'll try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can everyone can kind of see the main thing. But uh, we are gonna be kind of worrying like uh, you know messing with small areas today, like you know. Cause some like uh, it's almost uh, not like a syndrome, but like 
some artists, you know, it's like it, it's almost a uh, like a part of your like learning curve kind of thing or the the process like of you your growth as an artist. Would you help me make a logo? Yeah, hit me up uh, on personally or hit up aglstudioart.com. You can find it in there. Uh, you can hire my studio. We do some graphic design. We do all that stuff. Hey, what up, Alice Drake? Things are coming out. What is up? Awesome. Yeah, what I was saying is like, uh, you know, a part of the artistic journey is like a certain point, like, you know, some artists, it's like you kind of, you're almost like zoomed out. Like you just don't see some of these little areas that I'm going to be talking about right now. And what the hell is wrong with you? Like, why aren't you seeing them? You know, no, <laughs> no, it's not like that. You know, it just takes time. Like it, it's kind of, you just, uh, I don't even know a good analogy for it, but you know, it just takes time to really see it. You know, I guess it's like listening to like death metal and stuff like that. Yeah, at first, it just sounds like screaming noise, but after you've been listening to that kind of music for a while, it's like, wow, I can hear everything they're saying. You know, but to a normal person, they, they don't understand, like, art stuff. They don't understand as artists. Like, we're so, uh, we're so unique, bro. Uh, cool. I want a little shadow here, but this that's too harsh. I want to, we need to kind of fade this up. Because there technically is a little shadow that comes down. Like, I don't know, maybe since I got a beardy, it'll be easier, easier to, harder to tell. But, yeah, there definitely is like a little shadow right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a basic flat, I mean, flat, flat! No, basically soft and opacity driven, so it's not that. It's the opposite of that. Uh, and it's a very soft one. I'm going to use that. And I'm, what I'm, you know, I didn't just kind of like, Ooh, brush resize okay random number five no you don't do that what I'm thinking is like okay what like curvature is the jaw for her and I want that brush to almost like I want to think okay the center of the brush is almost pretty much like that radius to the end is a gradient so I want to use that you know radius level and kind of you know as an artist I'm gonna be like <laughs> scanning jawline determining you know gradation level Excellent. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, you got it. You got it. Excellent. Cool. So, yeah, just just a little there. You know, maybe we could even take it a little smaller. So, that's a good way to, like, when you are resizing your brush, you know, yeah, you can wing it. Sometimes you might not want to wing it as much. All right, what I'm noticing here, let's, uh, well, I want to stop, and I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some shading in here because this needs to get a little darker as it goes, kind of under her hair. But I can't do it in this normal shadow layer that I'm using right here. But why didn't money? That's a good question. Why not? Let me tell you. All right. So basically, because I'm using just black and white right now, I'm just using black. Black is a really great, you know, it's a great color for shading because it's like it's just gonna add darkness to everything. But when you get into skin tones, skin and like. You know, other maybe organic substances, anything that is not maybe completely opaque is going to, it can be kind of weird. Like skin, it's very, it's a complex material. Let's just say any complex material, well, it's not going to work so good. Everything else is going to work great. But on the skin, see how it gets dark in there? It's just like, it's like, uh, Dan, I think she's uh, starting to, you know, taking some weird like hormones. She's starting to get a five o'clock shadow. That's not what we want. So... You know, in uh, in shading on the skin, there's you know different colors come into play. You know, there's a lot more like reds and blues that might interact more so than just straight black. You know, straight black or white. You know, so use that use that accordingly. Awesome. And as you guys are noticing, if any of you got like phew, really acute vision, you'll notice that there is some cools on the underside of here. And uh, hair. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most complex material. I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as complex as a uh, skin. But, you know, we did it on there just because of the style itself, like of the picture. Like, it's also a good way of using, like, blues in the shadow and that kind of stuff to get a little more style. And then it's also a little less harsh of a shadow. You know, for her, like, this cute character, I mean, it's not like we want some, like, broke, like, comic, like, the Max or something, like, Spawn, you know, it's like a super, or, sorry, I should go right to Batman, because that's, like, the classic, like, black and white, you know, like, start spot blacks, but it's, like, you know, for that, it's very harsh, you know, we need that harsh, but for maybe a cute character, you don't want it that harsh, so it's going to be important to add, like, blues, soften up some of the shadows, so that's why we're not going to have it go straight into darkness there. All right, cool. Now, but when I'm doing that, I noticed that this little, uh... This little gradation looks like it's almost just a little too high on this end, so I'm just gonna with the old racerino. 
What the heck? That's not the Eraser! This thing's like flipping out on me. Did anybody see that? It was like going in spots. Okay, so the spacing was off. It's like, uh, I don't know, I'll just space however I want it. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. Uh, what I did off screen there is I just uh, double checked it. Sorry, that was how it was before, and then it was like, basically jitter was off. I turned that on, pen pressure. Just like, okay, I want that. That didn't seem to solve the problem. I kind of recognize it, you know, as you solve problems. Rosewag, thanks for the follow. As you kind of like, you know, don't get mad about making mistakes in Photoshop. You know, it's all a part of learning, you know, so it's like, so when you do kind of run into a problem like that, think of it as like, boom, like, all right, boom. <sighs> like, Photoshop Sensei is giving me a test right now. I need to, like, solve this problem. So it's like, and then, you, you know, you got to figure out what it is. And, you know, I remember from the past, it's like, you know what, I've seen that symptom before where, like, it'll kind of, like, get a little bubbly with the spacing. Let me, let me try to show you guys, like, kind of replicate what was happening, make it a little more obvious. Um, hey, see this? How it's like... Bloop, bloop, bloop. See, look at that, how it's like just creating these like weird dots out of nowhere and stuff. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. need I say more? I mean, <laughs> is that really what you want? Yeah, so just remember that happens. Maybe it has something to do with the spacing. Because, I mean, you can see as I control Z, like, uh, all that stuff. It's like these weird dots happening. It's like, huh. And you got to remember, euthanalia, thanks for the follow you know, I know this is a little maybe more advanced Photoshop, but it's it's very basic that you can it's really really good to know. So like brush spacing is important because like when you think about when you understand what is a Photoshop brush, it's like a very powerful like moment and good thing to know because it's like wow like you understand like all these tip shapes like a lot of artists I'll see like uh they use like the stroke uh little thumbnail thing that's chill. I just I, I personally just like uh, I use the little these little dots. I actually use it like a huge thing like that. But uh, that's uh, I keep that off screen, and uh, yeah, because once you understand, it's like oh, the tip of that, you know, you can and you can modify it to do some really really cool stuff, you know, and that's why it's uh, you know, it's like yeah, Photoshop is a little more mechanical than some other like programs, but when you kind of like embrace that, like ew, why did I leave that there for so long? Come on, you guys, come on. Alright, okay, cool, like, uh, yeah, once you kind of embrace Photoshop and, like, you know, the rules of it, oh, you can do so much, like, it's just so, so radical. So, definitely, uh, definitely, you know, yeah, sorry. Isn't that cool, though? Isn't Brush is cool? Sorry, I'm just, like, I get so excited about something, and then I look at the chat, and it's, like, I don't think it's, like, kicked in yet with the lag, and it's, like, why isn't everybody super excited like me right now? So, I'm, like, I have to, like, pause for a moment, it's, like, was that not exciting? But, no. Brushes are definitely exciting. So again, anyone that's tuning in, hey, what's up? It's me, your good friend and humble host, Den of the Monies. We are continuing to paint this character. And she is a, uh, excuse me, like this is gonna be an actual sprite in a like kind of like a dating sim, like a uh, like a visual novel type game. So she's gonna be like, oh, blah 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 blah, like dialogue. Excellent, cool, awesome. Yeah, and if you like game art stuff, definitely give me a follow. That's where I was going with that. Awesome. Hey, Polarity Plus, thanks for coming out, dude. What up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. We were just talking about brushes and how they instantly make you a better artist. Not. Yeah, I know. Good. Cool. All right, sweet. I think we're ready to just continue on to start messing around again. Today, or like what we're focusing on today, on this day of days, this magical stream day, as you guys can see, I'm very excited. I'm in theme. Just got out of class. Professor Snape. Ugh, am I right? Snape. Ugh. So, <laughs> so cool. We're back. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for coming out. So what we're doing today yeah, is uh, we're kind of refining and going towards the uh, like, you know, the final touches and that kind of stuff. So we're going to be adding a lot of little contact shadows, little highlights. What I'm thinking right now is I want to cover like the little seam in her uh, her robes there's always you know 90% of the time in clothing there's a seam right there I mean you can get pretty fancy with it but just don't forget that to put at least something there you know, cause it, it's a, a very important very important part and those little things really will uh, boost like kind of you know I don't want to say it's like by any means realistic this stuff but you know it kinda you know eventually it will kinda follow some of the laws of like 
realism, so it'll have like a, you know, realistic lighting and like textures on a, you know, obviously unreal like character. It's excellent. Again, thanks, uh, shout out. We got some super awesome artists in the chat once again. If you're not in there, where are you? That's all I gotta say. So uh, again, yeah, hey, what's up, Polarity Plus? Thanks for coming out. Uh, the Titan PVP. What's up? Thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate it. Awesome. I hope you like uh, cute anime fox cat girls, tiger cat girls. I'm all like unsure, and this is my own character. <laughs> oh gosh. So, all right, let's add some little contact shadows in here. Contact, I mean uh, rim shadow, whatever you want to call it. Basically, this little line I'm going right here. Uh, it just kind of happened. I'm going with it. Talk about a little happy accident. These little, like, you know, little designy stuff we got going on in the robe. They just left a little gap right there. And it's like, you know what? That gap is actually about the same size as... Sorry, my, my robe is getting caught on my tablet. Forgive me. Uh, but, yeah. And notice that it's about the same size as, like, the thickness of that little robe flap, which is basically what this is. And as I add that highlight, that's a very important highlight because, again, it's... You know, it has to be the same as this. It has to reflect the same, you know, like kind of weight. Because look at if I, I kind of let's grab some of this purple. If I make this one like super thick, and then that one's like very thin and delicate, it's kind of like, uh, bro, I think he did something wrong there. You know, it's like it's just not gonna match. So it is, you know, you should do be aware of that kind of stuff. Beware. No, not that kind of beware. Just be aware. That's what I meant. Cool. Big A. What up, dude? Look, you know, I'm doing uh, Jessica's little gun thingy. But, yeah. What up? Thanks for coming out, Vig. Really cool. Really cool. You tell me that's an image from Google. Yeah. Right on. Chill. No, this is, oh, sorry. If, uh, if anyone's confused, no, this is a... Uh, we've been painting this all stream. Previous streams. Awesome. This is personal art. Yeah, this is for my game. This is for my game. Looking great. Hey, thanks, Drift. Drift. I like that. I like that. Wolfie Pants, awesome. I see we got some new people. Uh, thanks for coming out. It's me, you know, I guess your new friend, but still humble host, Din of the Monies. And we do uh, basically a lot of game art here, character design. That's kind of my, like, main, uh, my main skill arena. Is that my forte? Is that what I should call it? Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. That's what we do most times. So if you're into, uh, like, video games, you like characters, huh? Give me a watch. Just give me a watch right here. Or sorry, a follow, is that what it's called? Either one. Definitely hit that little heart. It'll hit my heart. That'd be good. Excellent. Please, Blazer. Awesome. Nice. Where should you get started in Photoshop? That's a good uh, question. Dude, That's uh, let's go to that right now, man. First thing, Command N, create new document. You don't need to get fancy. They probably have some here, like default paper. You can use that. That's probably fine. I personally use a 12 by 18 inch. And uh, I don't know. Screens are getting a lot more, uh, a lot more intense these days, or a lot more high resolution. So I've been kind of bumping up the resolution on stuff lately to like 350 degree. I mean 350 DPI. Um, I didn't come to that number myself. All of a sudden, you know, some of the clients I work for in uh, Japan, they just, they just started saying 350, and I was like, oh, this is an international thing. But I started seeing it from clients over here too. So it's just like, all right, you know, 350 is the new 300 DPI. So, as for getting started in Photoshop, that's what you want to do right there. New image, Command N, or just File New. It's gonna bring you to this thing. Don't if it starts you off in pixels, don't freak out. I know a lot of people it's just like too many numbers. I know it is a lot of numbers. You don't have to worry about though. Everyone understands inches. As long as you keep the resolution at 300, 350, you're you're pretty chill. Like you're gonna be chill. Like you don't have to you know you don't have to get too too into the uh, the pixels. If, you, if you're just a pixel person and you're just like, no, pixel all day, every day, I don't know, you're safe around 5,000, I'd say, if you, if you really need one. I mean, but then again, I was working at this one game studio and they'd make fun of me for having stuff like super high res. But it's just like, like, trust me, do things high res just because it's always easier to downsize it in Photoshop versus, you know, like uh, making it bigger. You can't do that. Awesome. Hey, Jared Dog, what's up, dude? Thanks for coming out, man. Cool. I'm assuming you're using an iPad. I'm assuming you're using a pad. Yeah, I've got a. Uh, oh, I think. You, uh, okay. 
No, oh, sorry, Pogu Blazer. Yeah, I'm using the, uh, all my tools are actually listed below. But I'm using the 22 HD Cintiq. But I use them all. I started with the uh, the smallest one. The old R2-D2, or as I like to call it, yeah. <laughs> now the uh, the 4x5 in US3, 2-D2. Awesome, cool. So yeah, yeah, excellent, yeah. Photoshop, I know it can be intimidating, but definitely, if, if you, uh, definitely give me a watch then, dude, because I cover a lot of, like, Photoshop tutorial stuff. It's like, I know it's, like, character design, but it's all done in Photoshop. I, uh, I know you, man, I had to learn Photoshop on my own, so I'm, I'm really, uh, I really want to help people kind of transition from, you know, traditional to the digital just because 70 dpi for the win <laughs> oh my god polarity don't say that some people might take you seriously in there do not do 72 dpi 72 dpi okay actually that's a good point now that uh we should cover that too actually so let's say uh let me just save this right now so let's say we finish this picture and we're ready to post it online we're like woohoo time to update social media that's when i would flatten the image Image size, Command Shift I, I mean Command Alt I or Control Alt I if you're using PC. Image size, this will pop up. Oh no, pixels! I'm freaking out. Hey, don't worry. Right below it is inches. You, you're you're totally chill. And just remember, always pay attention to the resolution. That's kind of if there is one number that you're really paying attention to, definitely the resolution. Um, when you go to post it online, then you want to bring down to 72. What? What's with all these weird numbers? How am I supposed to remember that? Okay, well, that's fair. It is a little weird and hard to remember. So just kind of, uh, what helps is, uh, it's basically 72, 150, so 72 times 2, that's 149, dude, uh, or 144, whatever. It goes 150 after that, then 300. So think of it kind of like that. Just remember, 300 is printing and 72 is online so that'll help you a lot it's gonna bring the size down to 864 so it's like super small we, we don't want to do that yet Ooh, I shouldn't have done that let me uh, let me cancel that why would you cancel it? I thought you wanted it to do that I do but if I uh, just it change the image size now with all my layers still kind of with the uh, layer effects and that kind of stuff it can really get a little funky because some of the things are relying on certain pixel numbers like ratios and that stuff so yeah, cool. Awesome. What the heck? Why is this all of a sudden freaking on? Cool. Sorry, hearing myself talking in the background. Don't like that. All right, excellent. So we're moving on. I think I uh, covered some basic Photoshop there, but uh, yeah. Femi, any questions? Definitely more than welcome to ask. Just do the little at din money and make it a lot easier on me. It's hard to keep up. Also, if I miss any questions, don't worry the chat. Everyone in there, we got some really strong artists in there, so definitely uh, they should be able to help you out with anything that I miss. Especially uh, my mods, they're super awesome. Cool. Alright, so I want to be very precise on this. This little, this little dot there, right there. Uh, okay, cool. Ooh, now I'm going to fade it up. I just need to get rid of that dot. You know what I mean? Sometimes that just dot is just there. Ugh. Cool. And right now I'm using the uh, like a hard softy brush. Hard softy brush. What does that even mean, man? Ah, uh, that's true. Uh, sorry. It looks like this. Let me just flash it really quick. Ha ha! Whew. I'm keeping too many brushes on the screen. I know I'm gonna get stuck with like a bad thumbnail at this rate. The thumbnail is so important. All right, cool. Turn the music for you guys too. Awesome. I have an Inuus Pro medium tablet. That's good. That's great size. Yeah, the medium is the way you want to go. Uh, not layered. Uh, yeah, no, we're in layers right now. We're in layers. Yeah. Whoa. Cool. And I'm just in a normal layer right now. Oh no, I'm in overlay. I switched to overlay because when I'm using these cool like metals and stuff, it's going to kind of interact with the colors a little bit more and get a little more interesting kind of uh, gradation. Depresso, thank you for the follow. Affectionito, I just casted affection on you. Not layered, yeah, cool, nice. 
96 DPI is retina display. Really? Oh, that's nuts. Yeah, see? Wolfie Pants. You see? The, uh, thanks for coming out. I don't know if I said that yet. I didn't notice you. But uh, again, that's what I'm talking about, man. It's like screens are just getting naturally higher resolutions now, so you kind of need a little higher res than you used to on stuff. Which is kind of a bummer, because that means like if you posted some stuff, Pokeblazer, thanks for the follow. If you posted some stuff online like a while ago and you're still using that, like uh, like sometimes they'll get hit up, people want to buy the rights to some old work, and like, uh, yeah, I'll be like, oh, you know, it's like that one that's kind of so old, I don't have the high res, and the, the resolution that is there, it's just not that high anymore. So it's kind of a bummer, but that's why, again, we want to work in high res, 350 DPI. Um, yeah, again, if some of you guys might be having, having the problem, high res, working high res, it's going to require a lot more, like, uh, power from your computer, a lot more computer power, you know, so watch out for that, it can be, like, a. Uh, so if you do need to lower the res, maybe use, like, a, like, an 8x10 picture, you know, and don't feel like you're missing out, or you're, like, a failure or something, you got to do what you got to do, you know, and it's, like, it's better to be drawing then uh, oh wolfie paints <laughs> wolfie pants yeah you're right that, that's pretty bad uh. <laughs> I don't know I kind of like, like wolfie pants now uh. all right that's chill though I I, I, I want to respect your name so yeah wolfie paint thank you for coming out and thank you for uh, your patience on my pronunciation of your name awesome Whew. I feel like I'm wearing wolfy pants right now with these uh, all these robes on, the scarf. The things I do to learn magic, though, right? Excellent. Cool. I think yeah. Let's, let's just uh, continue the quest. Awesome. See, and like uh, as I'm going through, I kind of know it's like uh, I know these layers aren't labeled. But, because I don't believe in, like, labeling people, places, or things. But, nah, it's just, I kind of just will remember, you know. I don't have too many layers. I know it looks like there's a lot. But, these layers are my babies. I made each and every one of them. And I know all of their names by heart. You know, we got Donner, and Dancer, and Prancer, and Vixen. Oh, it didn't. All right, stop. Just stop, dude. Right. Cool. But, yeah, what I was going to say is I have just about, like, four layers that are above my like base shadow layer and I can do a lot with these so if I'm like looking sometimes instead of painting over something it's just easier to just erase away a little bit from one of the layers so that's why it's like it's not too hard for me to find which layer is the culprit basically so it's kind of you know it's, it's my it's like a judgment call thing it's like hmm do I go and like paint over this do I just cut it out later? I want to avoid painting over as much as I can because once you kind of like cross that line, it's like everything above that has to be like above that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, we're doing, the team's doing good. Thank you for asking. How you start to make a logo? Text tool. Nice. Hit T. Where's your wizard hat? It didn't match my rose. Well, actually, today I'm just a student like her. We were just, uh, I was just in class, it was crazy, I'm not a full-on wizard yet. I'm a Padawan wizard, no, I don't, I don't know, in the, uh, that's funny. Din Money, how do you start making a logo? Din Money, how do you start making a logo? I will keep asking until you tell me! Chill. Uh, you know what, I'd love to go into that, we could do that maybe on another stream, but right now it's the character design stream, we're kinda booked up. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, if there's something you wanna see, let me know, and, uh, we can maybe squeeze it in another stream. Logos are pretty simple though, man. You just bust out the text tool and you gotta just start doing it. Yeah, so it's kind of like a uh, logos. It's not as much like technical. It's more of just like idea, if that makes sense. Like you kind of have to. Yeah, you got vector. Yeah, definitely. There you go. But it's kind of like you have to. It's it's more about the creativity of the idea more so than like. You now the execution is important too, but. I don't know. As you can see, I'm even having trouble describing it, so sorry I can't help you with that, bro. Maybe if you follow me, I can help you. <laughs> Ooh! Nah, chill. Awesome. 
Yeah, that's why I like to stick with the character designs. That's kind of, you know, my speciality. It's what I get paid for most of the time, so... That's what I want to, uh, focus on. Because I, I gotta do backgrounds professionally, too, but... I don't know, it's just, I just don't, uh... Yeah, it just doesn't feel right as much, you know. So, cool, so what I'm doing now is, like, yeah, again, I'm re... I'm re-emphasizing darks and lights and just slowly pushing and pulling everything right now. And again, I'm focusing on refining small areas. Like, let's see this little, little dot that got left out there. Bad! Bad dot! Very bad dot! We don't want that. So that's why I'm just going to come in. Just... Maybe we could even just use a lasso and smudge tool and just fade it up. That's what I would do if it was like uh, if it was all merged. It'd probably be, I'd probably have to do that. But uh, right now, I don't know. It's just fun. Just fun. Just fun. Just want to show you guys. That. I don't know. Awesome. So again, like, see, you'll end up with these weird spots. Like, bro, what happened right there? Did you just not finish that? So we we don't want that. So you know, it's it's my job now. I gotta fix it. Right, so let's see if we can just smudge that over. Cool. Dan, how are you doing that? How are you smudging like that? How's you smudge like that? Alright, cool. Well, let me show you. Let's let's find out. I think some of that is actually in this other layer. Let's see. Nope. I have the smudge tool, but I have it in zero spacing. What? You said no spacing was bad earlier. I know. It usually is. It usually is, but except for the smudge tool. Oh, this stuff's hard to remember. I know. It is hard to remember, but just see it as like fun. You know, you're not going to learn Photoshop in a day. It's not like Rome that was built in the day. It's like it takes a lot longer. It's way more complex than the Roman civilization. So you gotta be ready for that. So again, like yeah, see these couple little strays. There's a couple ways we can handle that. I can either just erase away some of that. Um, I think I am gonna erase away the line. I don't want it to be too sharp. You know, I don't want it to be like whoosh, this thing like cutting across her face like too gnarly what tool do I use to draw using the brush tool use a lot of the brush the B for brush bra right. cool yeah awesome yeah I'm sure there's a poke blazer I'm sure some uh, people in the chat might help with logos and yeah, maybe we could do like a UI maybe we could do a UI uh, stream one day a you and I stream you mean We'll stream together! No, I mean UI, as in user interface? God! Yeah, and I remember when I, like, uh, was working in house at this one uh, company, and it's just like, uh, yeah, I had to learn all these terms, like, super quick, because I was just so focused on, you know, like, drawing. I need to get the draw skill up, I need to get the draw skill up. And when I got there, it's just like, whoa, there's all this other, like, you know, game stuff I gotta know. You know, there's all these, like, terms and other case stuff, so it was really, uh, very educational experience, yeah, and which is uh, which is cool because you know, I will share all that I know with you all. Every session, you will gain one level up in your game art skill. Nice. All right, I'm gonna do a quick little mic check because I'm sure the mic's about to go berserk at some point. So be right back. Alright, cool. Mike should be back in action now. And I don't mean like Michael, I mean like the microphone. Sorry. Alright, so I was looking around her face. There's this little like fragment of her eye. She's got a little bit of eye fleck going out of there. What's the level cap, Din Money? There is no level cap here. You can level up to the stars. Actually, uh, today we're covering levels. Actually, we're kind of in some advanced stuff. This would be levels 9 through 17, basically. Nah, I don't even know, man. It's chill. But this is, uh... You know what? Even though we are, like, at the later points of the drawing phase here, I'd say that this isn't, uh... We're not covering too advanced of stuff. Dan, what are you doing right now? You're just looking down at Sylvanas. Uh, yeah, kinda. Hold on. I'm looking through my layers right now. Looking for those blue eyes. My blue eye, baby. There we go. Ugh. 
Took forever. See, Dan, you need to name your layers. Shut up, you guys. Quit being wise asses. <laughs> Chill. Nice. Excellent. Cool. All right. I just want to make sure that's they're pretty good. Again, who knows what we'll... Anything in the end, you know, we'll have to, probably have to paint over some stuff eventually, but I want to try to get as clean as I can for now. Something I can also do, which is really cool, we'll just try that out right there, yeah, is if I hold command, or first I'll hit V, the black arrow key, hold command, I can just like click and it'll automate take, or automatically take me to that specific layer. So, it, you know, it's, uh, let's say you are getting into a lot of layers, it, it's a nice way to just quickly jump around. But that doesn't mean it's like a, <laughs> that doesn't give you like the no check pass. Let me, let me put it that way. Don't just think like, Oh cool. Then my second command click on the layer. It'll take you to the top layer. So it might not necessarily be the layer that you specifically want, but you know, just double check that it is the right one. It'll definitely take you closer to that. Awesome. This is looking so far. How much time have you in it so far? This one is B B B B B B six hours, I think. Six hours. Um six hours, yeah. I'd say about six hours. Stream time. What's hard, bro, is like uh, to gauge stream projects because, you know, half the time I'm just like, oh, what? You have a question? Oh, let me help you out with that. Well, at least I try to be, you know, so I'm not kind of working at maximum speed. So I would estimate about six hours on this one. Try to do it like uh, sketching, you know, I try to have that, you know, two, three hours and then, you know, technically three hours and then five hours for painting generally. That's kind of how I like to uh, break it down. It's a good question. To answer your question, yeah, I'm probably pretty fast, I guess. I don't know, people tell me I'm fast, but it's never fast enough! Ah! It always feels like, you know, it's, it's taking too long. But again, like, uh, speed comes with knowledge and understanding. So. Yeah, it's not like I'm necessarily like just moving fast. Sometimes I am. Again, speed. A uh, thing that will help if anybody saw my little uh, razor review, this little hand keyboard, definitely a very useful tool. It's almost magical. Poof. That was a weak spell. I'm sorry, you guys. I was I was pretty half half based. I'm still really slow. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting slower the more I draw. That's why it's taking me off more. So I'm trying to get a little more, a little tight and refined. Some things it's just like, uh, I want to be, you know, I shouldn't take that long, but it's like, ah, uh, taking me so long. Yeah. So, all right, so let me, let me zoom in on what I'm trying to show you guys now. What I'm trying to do is this little line that's going right here. It's like, where do these come from? It's like, ah. Uh, Kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like you're eating fish and there's like bones in it. It's like, dude, I swear I just took out all the bones and then they, they just keep popping out. What the hell? Yeah, it's easy to get distracted for sure. For sure. So I used to be all about the speed. So I think since I, I used to work so hard at that, it's kind of like helped me now. It's like, even though I'm like not as fast maybe as I used to be, you know, I'm trying to, I feel like I'm, maybe I am slower now, but I, you know, I, I hope the quality is higher, you know, so that's what I'm really trying to push these days, quality. You know, I used to be like, oh, you gotta get this done, blah, 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 blah. but now it's just like, oh, I need to look good, just cause, I swear, I shouldn't say it's like, I don't ever have to rush, so. It's like 90% of like, it's like, I feel like, you know, I always, everything always has a deadline. It's always so crazy, you know, and I, you know, maybe because I'm like, uh, I pride myself on meeting deadlines and such that I kind of, I'll get hit with some pretty gnarly ones. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to like say, no, I can't do that. It's like, hell yeah, I can do that. Let's try it. Let's see it, you know? So, I mean, you can always bust all nighters, right? I mean, so. So maybe that's a good advice for any uh, upcoming artists out there. 
You know, it's uh, it is a lot of work. You know, to it's a very competitive field, and it takes a long time to get really good. You know, so it's kind of up to you to uh, really put in the hours. You know, it's like a. I mean, if you ask me what I do, it's like I remember my friends like, "Oh, what are you doing today? Oh, what are you doing today?" It's just like, dude, I'm doing the same thing I ever I do every day. It's like I sit at my desk and I draw. You know, it's like it's all I can do. You know, it's like I gotta, I get good. Cause it's like, oh, there's so many like super awesome artists out there. It's like, uh, so much work to be done. It's kind of weird song. Alright, that sounds cool. Sweet. Cool, well, yeah, so thanks for the uh, great questions, guys. Yeah, I don't mind getting a little, like, ideological with the drawing and stuff. It's all good. Drawing theory. Excellent. But yeah, I'm always looking for... That's another reason why I think I'm so fast. It's like, I feel like I... You know, I'm always trying to, like, look for new methods, try out new things. Like, I'm always just experimenting and just working with stuff. And, like, I'm always thinking of ways to possibly improve. You know, and it's like, uh... So I feel like I have a more advantage to that than a lot of artists do. Because a lot of artists, I feel like, it's kind of like... They kind of get a little chill and relaxed. And that's when I'm like... That, oh, sorry. That means me, like... Power mode. I'm rushing forward, drawing like crazy. I don't know. But yeah. Nice. Hey, uh, Freya. Yeah, you gotta get good. What's up? After six hours, I was still be in line drawing phase. Yeah, there you go. Well, SC man, you're pretty detailed, bro. You're very clean too. So that's good. I'm not surprised. See, late, lately I've been taking longer. Yeah, I swear this like line drawing took like forever the other day. I'd show you guys, but it's a Patreon exclusive because it's a sneak peek of behind the scenes game stuff. Sorry, I tried to make that sound really cool. Because it is really cool. I'm really excited about it. If anybody doesn't know, hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Me, your humble host and good friend, Din of the Monies. And we're painting some game art right now, a character sprite for an upcoming dating sim I'm working on or dating game. Because it is a game. It's going to be pretty pretty freaking awesome. And it's going to be really a comedic dating scene, so it's going to be really funny. You know, if, if, you're, uh, if your daily life's a little sad, you know, you need a little, you need a laugh, definitely, definitely check it out. It's going to be really funny, super awesome, and you might see some sexy ladies in there. Like this one. <laughs> this one's not very sexy, but, you know, you got to have range in the game. So there you go. Awesome. Gitzler. Gretzler, thanks for coming out. What's up? Nice to meet you. I'm your good friend. I'm all in money. Thank you for coming to the show. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. The usual spiel. Nice. But yeah, anyone who's tuning in, thanks for thanks for coming out. Really, I really do appreciate it. Hope you're having fun. Hope we're uh, learning together. Hope you're having a magical experience. I hope I didn't put on this bathrobe and scarf for no reason. I mean, I hope at least gave someone a chuckle out there. Uh. All right, cool. And that totally derailed me for what I was going to say, but that's all good. That's all good. So right now, I'm just going to start detailing some of this hand over here. It's getting a little lost. Hands are very important. Because they... I don't know, they tell a lot about the character. Yeah, it tells... It tells so much about the character. It's like, how, like, this character, like, uh, how delicate they are, you know? Like, do they work a lot? Are they really strong? That kind of stuff, you know? Either lost the stream or it froze. Having bad lag. No. Uh oh. Hopefully it just kicks back in. I'll restart the mic while we're. Alright, technical dish issues better? Okay, cool. Alright, Fia says it was okay on their end, so all you guys are the problem. Ah, uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Let's get some of these eyes going. So, right now, it's like I want to get some uh, other color in her eyes. It's a little, uh, they're a little flat. A little, uh, you yeah, know, it's blue. 
I don't know if we're going to stay with blue. Maybe we can get a little more aqua with it. Maybe that'd be kind of cool. So as I'm adding, uh, let's try this in a normal layer. See what happens. I'll shoot a little like kind of a little half moon thing. I'm not gonna get too gnarly with it. I mean, if I, I mean, you can do the whole circle thing, but I don't want to look like she's freaking out. You know, it's like, Whoa! like I don't know. I don't want to freak anyone out with it. Yeah, I'm good now. Okay, sweet. Glad everyone's back. Good. I'm good. If you guys are good, I'm good. Hold on, my scarf's not good. Time out. We've got a scarf situation. <sighs> uh, am I right, girls? Scarves. They never flow the way you want. Ugh. Cool. Sweet. Alright, uh, I forgot what I was going to do, but whatever. I see something else I want to fix. And that's what it's all about right now. This, this point, it's like kind of... You know, a lot of my procedure is like getting it going, but at a certain point, it's just like... You're just popping around, seeing things, and just, you know, you see what to fix, and you're fixing them. You know, it's, uh, I don't want to say it's the most fun part, but it kind of is for me anyways, because it's just like, ah, at least you have that little, like, confidence factor of, like, all right, the drawing doesn't look terrible. At least I think it doesn't, you know, it's like, uh, it's like, oh, okay, you know, the, the main, Everything, like, you know, the main parts are done, you know, it's already drawn, it's already good. You've got at least something to stand on. Yeah. No peach on, uh, the, on my streams, the girls are like, uh, like, let's just get out of here. Just leave them be. It's boys night out on my streams. Actually, no, let's say like this. I kick them out of the studio. I'm like, get out of here. It's the man cave today. Nah, just kidding. Nah, they, uh, yeah, who knows? I'm like, uh, yeah. But it's just me today, so I appreciate you guys coming to keep me company. At least Jessica's here to mod. LP Chun's too cool, I guess. She's got her new boyfriend now, so she's all googly boogly over him. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Googly boogly. Hear me? Alright, cool. But yeah, awesome. That was a fun stream. Uh, did anyone catch Jessica's stream yesterday? That was a good one. That was a typical day. Here at AGL, the girls are yelling at me for something. <laughs> uh, do you use custom brushes? Yeah, I'll, I use custom brushes a lot of times. But, you know, I also use a lot of the basic ones too, so half and half. I am not afraid to make my own brushes, if that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, custom brushes is very, very cool. Like this one I'm about to use right now is a custom one. Custom design to kick your ass. Not cool. I'm gonna start lighting up some of this robe. It's just tough. It's like I want it to be pretty dark, but we gotta start establishing some, you know, some folds in here and like the form. It's tough though, Mings. I know there's Len playing right now, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Just try to focus. Cool. And I'll just slowly start adding the light, like <laughs> just one, one little highlight at a time. And when I'm doing this, I'm thinking like, okay, what? You know, I have like general lighting. You know, it's like uh, there's sprites, so I want it to be clear. Oh, my DM, my DM gave us what another level as X Men skit. Oh man, you're so lucky, dude. That's sick. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Hopefully, yeah, I think we're going to be playing tomorrow, dude. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be sick. Hopefully we can get out of this mess. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, I remember, oh, man, I'm in a tough stitch in D&D. But hopefully Jessica's character will get us out of it. <laughs> it's like my character has like no magical abilities. So I'm like, I'm telling them, it's like, hey, you guys, maybe instead of trying to fight this crazy ancestral being, like, let's just try to escape. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're, like, thinking it, because, like, my character, there's no way I'm going to, yeah, these brushes look like magic. They are, aren't they? <laughs> nice, right, so we could use, let's use some magic brushes, let's do it. Let's do it. We could probably use this one, actually, for some magic, the one I'm already using right now. It's a little, like... Oh, so beautiful. 
Then let's, uh, I've got a nice sparkly brush that I made. Dang it, someone says magic and I immediately just start like, <laughs> yeah, let's just play the sparklies. Why the sparkly? Uh, so fun. Alright, cool. Now I don't hear all that. Let's, uh, alright, now I got another one we can use too. Now, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop myself there. Let's get back to work. So much fun. Magic, that's gonna be the super, super final touch. So we're not gonna mess with that. But yeah, awesome. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you don't have to apologize for missing Jessica's streams. Just mine. Yeah. That's funny, she immediately started looking like sleepy. Let's just fade this out a little bit. Because technically, like, uh, the light is coming in, like, it's, it's really weird. Eyes. Eyes. You know, but, like, uh, they have a little round side on the outside, but then the inner, like, lens actually goes in, like, the iris. It's almost like a little, like, internal cup. So it has a really interesting uh, shape and look. Let's just do a little something a little crazy right now. If any of you guys have uh, been to my streams before, you'll probably probably seen this. But I'm gonna add a little yellow in here. See how it's just really gonna pop it? Like from out here, it doesn't even look it doesn't even look yellow in there. But it uh, up close, like you'll see it. Say, oh, it's neat. Like it's a it's a really neat. Uh, I don't know. It's just a nice little complimentary color thing. And the eyes, it's just cool. I don't know. It'll really like kind of pop out the blue, having a little yellow in there. But don't go too crazy. It's just really easy to go like kind of super crazy with that stuff. Nice. All right, we need some more highlights on this uh, this little rascal right here. And again, this has to be pretty thin. I'm trying to just ride along. Unfortunately, like this part of that little stroke thing is in the way. Maybe I can just cut it out manually. It didn't work, it didn't work! Cut it more, there we go, cool. Yeah, because again, we can't have that get too thick. You see how it's getting a little thick right there? That's a little risque. We really, uh, really gotta watch out for that. That's gonna really play like games with uh, people's brains. And I don't wanna play a game with people's brains. I don't want them tripping out. There we go. So what I did there is I actually went to that purple layer and I just cut out that little extra. Just cause it's very, uh, very, we wanna be very precise. Okay, see this little, these two designs, they're kind of cutting across. We need to get those out. We can't have that. Why we can't have that is because it basically takes away from the illusion that this purple cloth is folding over the other one. If some pattern is just like overlaying directly over that or directly, it's like, what? You know, it's just going to be a little, it's weird. It's, it's going to ruin, ruin the effect for our eyeballs, basically. But we want some of these cool effects on here, right? So maybe we can just take a section and move it down. Yeah, there you go. Cool. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. See how we have this like a uh, white, this light highlight there? Can't have that. Can't even have it on the other section from right here to here. So that's all right though. We're not gonna freak out. We're not gonna freak out. We're just gonna grab the lasso tool, and I'm just gonna grab this whole section and just be like, you know what? Freaking Ender's game. So I'm gonna finish it now. Finish it forever. Boom. Let's just slide, slide, slippity slide that down. Excellent. Cool. So now it's not really. Uh, it almost. It almost looks like it's something right there. So we gotta watch out for that. Even though technically I moved this down, so it shouldn't be lining up at all. It doesn't mean it won't look like it's lining up in another spot. So. You as the artist, it's your job to be like, look, tangent. I gotta stop that. Even though you can't be like. You know, you can't be like, well, technically I did that, so whatever. It's taking move. moved. It's, you don't know what you draw. It's matter, or like, until people tell you, you know, it's what it looks like, not necessarily like how it is for real. So even though we did move that, that doesn't give us the right to keep it that way. Kind of thing. All right, this time, I'm going to try shifting down this whole thing, or I might even just like delete it. 
Eh. Ooh, that gives me kind of a cool idea. Let's just shoot it down a bit. So again, we, we can't have these having kind of the same shapes. All right, let's try this now. I'm gonna just rotate it a bit. That way it can kind of reflect the folds in the cloth. So let's get a little crazy here. We're gonna try something right now. And you know, again, I don't know if this is gonna work, but it's fun to try. So let's just do it. I'm gonna cut out a spot, move it. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, it looks like it's not what I thought it was, but that's all right, we can still use it for happy accent. Let's try moving it like that. Whoa, 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 calm down, sir. Good sir, calm down. All right, so when I'm moving this, you gotta be a little patient, okay? Because like, I'm having Photoshop move it, this, this layer, it has some opacity, and it also has, you know, a layer style on it where it's like, supposed to create an outline on it. So, every time I adjust it one, it has to, like Photoshop has to do all these calculations on the side, so, be nice to it, and be patient. It's like, Photoshop's doing some really cool stuff right now, I'm gonna, no! Hold on, I think I accidentally control Z did, no! Oh well, that's alright, we can move, we can do it again. Can we do it again, please? Alright, let's try this. I'm gonna hold Shift, Command T, boom. What? What the heck did you just do, Dan? I know, right? That was crazy, huh? Did it move a little too fast for you? We thought we had a problem, and then all of a sudden, boosh, solutionized. What I did there is, yeah, a mistake happened. I did this cool transformation. I accidentally hit Control Z or something and, and touched something, and it was lost. Oh no, we're gonna cry. No, we're not. Because we remember that once you transform something and commit it, you can retransform it by hitting Shift Command T. So basically, the same tool, Command T, free transform, but holding Shift before that, it's gonna transform again. Super cool! That's such a cool feature. So luckily, that feature, knowing that, being a you know professional super artist, awesome person that I am, I remember that. You know, I didn't panic. It's like, all right, cool, excellent. Isn't that so cool? We saved ourselves right now, and that can be you. Trying to show some of your art director and you fumble like, <laughs> sorry. Stay calm and remember the tools. All right, hey, uh, have fun, Vague. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, set up the stream. Chill. Yeah, rock and roll, dude. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming out. Really appreciate it. Nice. So this is uh, some, sorry, I kind of just started seeing stuff, and now what I want to do is I just want to play around with those style layers, this outline layer pattern one. I'm going to use it. Yeah, we're basically going to bend it to our will right now. I'm going to become a Sith Lord and I'm going to make the force my bitch right now. Excuse my language, but uh, yeah, I'm going to make the force my B word right now. Awesome. But actually, I want to just have a highlight right there, so I'm just going to cut that out. Cool. Let's try this too. Just fill in that. Too much. I want to try uh, filling a circle. Nope. Alright, it works better when it's light. Alright, chill. So we can use uh, we can use that to make uh, little highlights and stuff. Cool. Alright, let's do that over here. This is, yeah, it looks kind of cool, but I feel like maybe we could get it working a little more. See, this is what it's like. Oh man, this is when I kind of like will take a long time for me because I started having so much fun with this stuff. And she's like, damn it, Din, there is a budget! Yes, I, I can't fill it. That's so weird. Alright, let's use the uh, same brush. So you might be asking yourself right now, like, how did I even make this tool or this brush? Well, I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. It's a secret. No. It's cool. Yeah, this is not working for me. Well, let's just erase it. That'll definitely do it. Alright, cool. Uh, I made it with this brush over here. Talk about magical brushes. This one's so cool. Super easy to make. It's almost like a kind of like a shattery one. Just made a triangle using you know, uh, transfer and shape dynamics, scattering, all that good stuff. We can go on to that some other time. If anybody has any questions, no problem. But cool, cool. Alright, chill. Now, I, I think some of that pattern is okay. What I want to do is start using some of those shapes and just kind of like going with the highlights of them. Like maybe I'll make a selection and then let's just use this soft brush and just highlight just right there. 
So I'm using a selection, and I'm just running a highlight across the middle of it. I know, it's like, but didn't you have to go all the way down there? Shouldn't you be using all of it? You're wasting the selection. Well, no, I'm not. I'm using, I know maybe it is wasting it. All right, you guys are right. I'm sorry. If it was water, it, that is wasting it. But it's not water, and we just want to kind of use it in combination with this soft brush, and using a hard kind of selection on a soft brush is going to create like a, an interesting look. You know, so let's let's uh, watch. Let's try this again. Let's add another little section to that, and let's just run this in again. I'm gonna think in like the size of her shoulder. Keep in mind, remember with the chin. I'm gonna keep in mind the brush size right now. I'm gonna have that reflect basically, you know, the size of her shoulder, ever how much I want it. Yeah. Let's just erase away a little bit of that there. So I also gotta remember, even though it's fun to show you guys that for a demo, I still gotta base some of the some of the laws of painting and uh, what this this is gonna show basically how broad her shoulder is and if I just keep pushing the highlights so much over here it's gonna get a little too broad so keep that in mind awesome oh cool I need, I need a little more highlight on here and again this is a uh, this is pure like style stuff so you, you don't have to do this this is kind of a personal fun thing that I like to do Cool, cool. We're getting there. We're getting there. Some of this is don't. I don't mean no wikey. All right, let's go ahead and shade some of the edge of this. This uh, sorry, this and that. All right, let's shade some of the edge of this uh, purple cloth, the part of the robe that's folding over. And technically, this edge on the left side. No, we don't want to highlight. This actually should be getting a little darker. And again. Technically, this below it would have some light, but it's going inside there, and there, you know, yeah, there will be some kind of like highlight cast because, uh, you know, like a shadow cast, and maybe there could be a hard edge, which is fine, you know, but uh, it still is going in there. So we maybe we'll add a little bit of shadow, just a little, and we'll keep the sharp, like, kind of shadow line defining the highlight going the other way. Just have it like that. It's gonna really like, oh, okay, cast shadow, but there's still a contact shadow as the belt goes under this curved surface like that like uh yeah try it out like if you move your fingers like that you'll see the cast shadow from your top knuckles but then as it goes like the knuckle meets knuckle there's even another like little thinner small shadow which is the contact shadow ah so good all right cool yeah so there we go that's good that's okay uh same way, this next one's gonna be even weirder because we have kind of this define the light. Yeah, it's coming from above, but it's almost a little bit on our side, like a little bit towards the camera because we want the main main body of the character to be in, in the light. So what that means is we can't really do this thing on there. I mean, we can't really have this side like fade out on here like this. Yeah, it will fade out a little bit because it technically is like folding around, but this gradation has to be a lot sharper because Technically, we're getting the highlight of it. The highlight of it is the closest point to us versus on here, maybe it's a, uh, let's do it. Like we almost like show like the roundness of the curve like that. Like depending on how round I want that to be, that's the, the brush size we'll use on there. Like let's say we wanted even, let's take it further. You know, I'm gonna just go crazy right now. Let's create a new highlight layer. So we're gonna get even more interactions. Just because I, I think that the little lip I added to the edge of this is in another layer. I mean, it was on that previous layer. And I want to just add to that. All right, cool. So now we got a nice selection. Selections, I know they seem like it's kind of like, oh, I don't want to just stop drawing and make a selection just so I can draw it again. Yeah, it's not like that, though. Like, think about it. Like, it, 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 yeah, it may take, like, one second longer or, like, sorry, what was it? Like, three seconds longer, but you can just do so much more with it. Cool. Awesome. See if we wanted to shade all the way to the edge. Like, whoa. But that doesn't make kind of like sense lighting wise. So we, we can't really do that, unfortunately. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I, Since this is getting from so small up here to so wide, technically the fold should be getting a little broader and more gentle. So technically, like, if it was like 
you know, if we were painting with our brains, I could tell the size of it to be like, get fatter as it goes longer. I could add some size dynamics on it. I don't do that often for this because it does get a little, uh, I kind of just use the one size and just really focus on like the airbrushiness, like the pressure, pressure sensitivity of the, like the actual flow. But, uh, yeah, so what, what I meant by cheating is that is I want to like have the brush small up here to get this little delicate curve. Like this delicate curve over, and then as it comes over here, I'm just going to resize it, and I'm just going to gently gl like glaze over that previous one, and kind of just slowly layer it down here. And I'm just using the, uh, you know, like the pressure of the pen almost, to slowly layer that. Okay, another another problem I'm seeing right now. Let's, let's see if we can fix this. It's getting a little bright. That highlight right there, it's like, sometimes overlays, it can get just too many too many layers so it's up to you as an artist to be like all right i know each like part of this was supposed to get the even amount but somehow you got a little more we got to cut you down and another thing as it goes down the body the light it's gonna get a little darker so even just even if we do go with the whole like you know everything is allowed this much light even it's still like uh it's still wouldn't work you know like you just have to have uh up here it has to get more light that's basically the rules whatever is closest to the light has to just get that much more awesome cool sorry is that, is that a little heavy a little light talk a little too much yeah but generally highlights you want to think of it like like pool and like you're the uh geez i don't even know what you'd say i guess you're the cue ball and the light is whatever <laughs> the highlight is going to be coming close to your eye so there's always something that's going to be like boop, reflecting into your eye it's a uh, really gnarly uh because like when you think about it, it's like whoa two people don't even see the same highlight you know but uh it's just really cool stuff and good to know whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. we gotta change that song that's, that's a little weird all right uh cool let's see what this one is but yeah, there's, and don't think I'm like, you know, a light Nazi. Hey, what's up, uh, Mute Lava? Which one? It's not a light Nazi. Like, yeah, you can have crazy mood lighting where it's like overhead, like blah, blah, blah. But eventually light's going to be like, the form is going to go into your eye, you know. So there's going to be some part of it that is like lighting up a bit. So like technically we're going to add a, uh, like a far shadow on the other sides of her like that. Like you can see like it already kind of. I'll toggle it on and off, and you can see how it really is going to push the three-dimensionality of her. That's just a rough backlighting, just, just for just for the record, all right? Yeah, cool. That's where we're going. We'll eventually get there one day. Awesome. And again, you guys might be noticing that I'm paying a lot more attention around this area, like the top of her and the bottom. That's not that I'm like, you know, uh... I don't know. I was gonna be like, it's not that I'm racist, but it's like that doesn't really work in this case. It's not that I'm like don't care about the bottom half of her, but it's just that this the top half technically is more important. Um, just because it again it is this particular character is gonna be for like a visual novel, like the game. So there's gonna be a dialogue box under her. So technically the top of her is more important, you know. And again, when you're doing artwork for games, designing character for games, anything for games or I don't even want to say games, just anything for a project, you're doing commercial work, know what it is that, like, your drawing's going towards, like, what's, what are they going to be using it for, so that way you can, you know, keep that in mind as you're working on it, because I remember, like, a, uh, you know, uh, a perfect example is, like, a, uh, when I was working at this game studio, and it's like, hey, we need this, like, shield, you know, like, one of the 3D, like, modelers, and he's like, hey, man, like, uh, I just need to throw this like temp shield and there's something I should forget. It was kind of like a personal favor kind of thing, you know. It's like, hey, you know, we, we can have the shield in there. Like, uh, if you want to work up one over your lunch break and add it in there, I think it was for like a little like a demo pitch kind of thing, you know. And I was like, all right, sweet, you know. And for me, it's just like, as an artist, I was like, okay, I gotta make the craziest shield you can ever imagine right now. It's like it has to look so cool that it gets my studio the job, you know. And then I did it, and it was like this sick ass, like, uh, like demonic, like skull thing, and it had this like chain in its mouth, like something like blah blah blah, like it looked freaking gnarly, right? And I gave it to him, and it's just like, here you go, bro, like, yeah, I did that in a one-hour lunch break, like, you can keep that, you know, like, uh, go for it. 
and it was just like, dude, like, uh, I can't animate, like, a chain hanging there, like, it can't be like that, you know, it's like a low-poly model, I can't have all this stuff in there, and it's like, oh, crap, it's like, duh, like, if I have this, like, dangling, you know, like, bit, like, if she had, like, a, like, it's this tail here, like, if it was, like, a, uh, yeah, that's not a good point, but, like, a longer hair or something like that, you know, it's like, or she had some, like, kind of, like, chains coming from her, let me just do that really quick, that would be, like, a, you know, it's like, whoa, 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 like, it's way more work, you have to have all these physics for it, it's like, you wouldn't think about, like, that's that much more of a problem, because an artist is like, we just do stuff because it looks cool, you know, it's just like, oh, what if she has chains coming off her, like, that's sick, oh, it's so cool, you know, but it's just, you have to realize the constraints of the project you're working on. Oh, man. Yeah, so it's very, very important to think about when you are working, you know, with others, any kind of product, any kind of commercial work. Nice. It's like flat or something. I don't know how to bring up the same level. Well, I'll tell you how. That's funny. That's a good question. That's a very good question because the, uh, sorry, someone in the chat is asking about the uh, the abdomen right now. Is the, uh, is the little chat thing not working? What the heck? Yeah, hopefully the the chat starts uh, triggering in the thingy. But yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, so what you want to think about the abdomen and some kind of stuff is it's different because you're working with a lot more shadows than you are on like the face and that kind of stuff. Because face is that like cool nose popping out. There's all these little intricacies. Like yeah, oh. but like when you get in the chest, it's like a lot of people don't realize. Like yeah, the main highlight is gonna be on the top of the shoulder. Like that's gonna be like the brightest point. You know, and then you can have like some of the breasts will get some light, but even still, it's like flat out that way versus like the top like of the shoulder, you know. So it's like you are gonna be working with some more shadows, and it's just uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess look at some references that'll probably help you. But like the torso is, it's a little more challenging. Yeah. Another thing I would say is like keep in mind that the top up here, you know, has got to be darker. I mean, lighter than it goes to the bottom. So you've got to keep in mind because this is a much broader spot than the face and even on the face you know i'll add like a little like shadow towards the bottom or to get a little more roundness or actually maybe i'll add a highlight just because you got that huge hat under there so it'll make the light like boom like blowing up from the bottom that's a little too complicated for right now but for all you need to know is that yeah on the torso it's definitely going to get darker as it goes down here yeah really cool i hope that helped probably didn't help but that's what i would say number one thing to keep in mind I'm gonna do something super crazy right now. Oh gosh, Dan, I hate it when you say that. It gets me so scared. Don't be scared, you guys. Come on. You still don't trust me by now? All right, cool. I just wanted to get a little, uh, a little highlights on this, cause even though I want this dark, even though it's like black, you know, it's like uh, I still, it still has to get some shadows, and it still has a form, you know. Uh, yeah, maybe I could be like super, uh, you know, maybe in reality you wouldn't catch that. You know, maybe it would, the light would just get so, like, maddened, like, you know, it gets so lost down there that you wouldn't see it, but this is, you know, this is for a game, this character's supposed to be really cute, you don't generally have crazy dark shadows on something that is cute, or some, a character that is really cute, it's just kind of contradictory, you know, and I mentioned that earlier in the stream, the whole, like, Batman thing, it's just like, you never think of Batman as cute, and a part of that is because, you know, A his crazy contrast in there, not to mention his like sharp features and that stuff. But cool, 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 cool. Nice. So let's get a little more, uh, I want to get that shadow going on there, like we, we talked about it briefly. I think we're ready to add a little more shadow in the, in the face area. Let's see what that is, nope. So I'm just gonna create a layer over there, and I'll put in maybe like multiply, multiply, uh, multiply layer. It's like it's basically uh, awesome, sweet. So we have the uh, the chat is working. All right, cool. So what we have is a uh, multiply. It's really great for line art and that kind of stuff. Let's say you drew something on paper and you want to import it into Photoshop and you want to color it. Multiply is great because it only allows like the darks to go through everything. Like watch, if I use white right now. Robe's getting caught right here. Alright, uh, if I use white, it's like, I can draw all day and you'll never see anything. Yeah, it's because it's just like, uh, hello, this is a multiply layer. We don't use white in this layer. Only docs go through. Alright, so keep that in mind. So it is great for that, especially for line art, because then it's just like, oh, cool, you can have the lines above, 
and just color anything like it'll just go straight through really really cool well I like you know that's why inks work really good with that so it's like ink on like white paper cool multiply also just keep in mind though when you are using it it's like you have to keep in mind its effects and it's kind of like uh its nature keep that in mind when you are using it so it's like you might need to use brighter lighter colors than you normally would to get the effect like yeah you know, it's like uh something that might be like way too like garish normally using a multiply layer might look all right you know, so it's like uh you know and again taking some time and like messing with layers and stuff is never a waste of time in photoshop like if you just like you know what i'm kind of just gonna have a lazy day i'm just gonna play around with photoshop effects and stuff that will probably be a very good learning day so there's so much cool stuff in there like you know i learn new stuff every day you know like uh, i learn stuff sometimes like you know half the time like someone in the chat will mention something and it's like oh why didn't everybody that sick you know like uh, i forget like uh what you call polarity plus said something last time and i'm now that I'm on the spot right now, I can't remember, but it was really cool. Yeah. It was so cool. Oh, very awesome. Sweet. Let's get a little more red rosy on the schnozy. That's the, the snows, sorry. And again, I'm, you gotta be really light with it too, just because it is gonna just like darken. It's basically like a, if one layer was the dark side. You'd probably think it's darken layer style, but maybe it'd be multiply. I don't know. Escape key. Only thing I know. Yeah, the escape key. Nice. What was it? Escape key when what happens? I forget though. Oh well. Oh yeah, was it with the text tool, right? When you get stuck in there? Oh, so awesome. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, because that. Whew, that sucked a long time ago when I did not know about that. Try this belt buckle up here. Could use a little TLC if you ask me. So let's go, let's go check that out right now. And I don't think it's really had any love from the previous layers I've been using. So a good thing to do, anytime I approach like a new section or whatever, a new area of the painting, it's like a uh, rotate, yeah. Oh yeah, rotate, yeah. Puts it back to normal, yeah, awesome. Yeah, I remember now, cool. See, I don't use rotate that much, that's why I, I missed that one. I, I don't use it as much as I should, sorry. I'm using it more than I used to now. Let me correct that. Amend it one more time. All right, cool. So as I move on to a new section, I just want to quickly, I'll toggle on and off some layers just to see if there is anything there. Just because I don't want to, you know, be one of those guys that's just like creating new layers every two seconds. You know, one of those guys is just like, oh, well, I'll just create a new layer. Oh, well, I'll create a new layer. No, it's, I don't even know if that's like a thing yet, but... I, uh, I'll generally kind of just get a, an eyeball of it and be like, oh, okay, what's going on there? All right, chill. You know, I'm thinking right now, like, what didn't you add the highlight on the top of that? What the heck? Uh, yeah, it's just because, I don't know, puts pressure on that little little highlights in there. It'll, it'll work somehow. I'm going to even add a little highlight to the bottom of this. It's crazy. Just because you got to think, like, the edges on stuff are usually, like, really complicated. Yeah, I'll probably add a secondary highlight at the top on this one just because, you know, it... it it's way up there, you know, it's definitely getting more light. If anything, I should just add it right as it goes across here. Gotta watch out, it's matte, like leather. As much as it'd be fun to add that highlight there and it makes sense in our minds. I don't want it to get too shiny. You know, I have to keep that in mind too. Because it is leather, it's not metal. You know, keep in mind the materials, very, very important. Especially in game art, you know, because that's a big thing. Dude, money, are you a WoW fan? I just know I say, yeah, WoW characters on each side of your stream. Yeah, right? Uh, I don't play WoW, unfortunately, but yeah, I'm a big fan of Blizzard and stuff, so, uh, and I just love sick character designs, so, you know, Blizzard actually inspired me to, like, start drawing when I was a kid, looking through the game manuals of World of War, I mean, Warcraft. I'm back at Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 1, those days. Hey, what up, Arios? What up, you son of a gun? Ha <laughs> sure, yeah, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just, uh, I don't know. I thought they'd look cool on the sides of the stream, right? Because they're all just, like, back-to-back. -back. I thought it'd be cool. But, uh, yeah, I really dig uh, Blizzard, like, uh, whatchamacallit, 
Riot, they have some sick, sick character, Smite. That game's really cool. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I must, I'd say I'm a fan of the Warcraft universe, hardcore. Like the movie, I'm really, really excited about that. Like it gave me crazy nostalgia seeing that. It was just like, oh my god. It's like, I remember you, and you, and you. Oh, so, so cool. So cool. That's so awesome that they're making that movie. I cannot even, like, tell you. It's going to be so epic. It's like, yes. And I know I know you wouldn't believe it looking at what I'm drawing right now, but, like, I love epic stuff. Like, uh, if anyone, if, if you read my comic, like, you know I, I love getting really gnarly and dark and epic. Like, I love painting, like, fight scenes and stuff, like, action. Uh, might have some really cool news about Genji coming up soon. I, don't, I can't really say much about it, though, but... Uh, yeah, there might be, might be coming back. Yeah, cool. But yeah, yeah. So I love getting super epic and uh, Blizzard. You know, they kind of, they really started epicness for me. You know, that love for it. Like I remember when I was a kid, I'm a big uh, Diablo fan too. Like super big Diablo fan. LP John gave me this uh, Diablo mug from BlizzCon. So cool. Aren't you a little young for Warcraft 1 and 2? Uh, I was definitely there for Warcraft 2. Warcraft 1, like, I think I remember that, but I don't know, man. Maybe I jumped in at Warcraft 2. You're too, you're never too young to play old school games. Nah, I was, I was there, bro. I was there in the beginning. I was there for Diablo 1. I remember I was like 10 years old and that came out. That was so sick. It was like scary for me, because like, like the, the butcher, that was like so gnarly. Like, I remember it was just like, oh my god, like, it was like does anybody remember at that time like that was a really like i don't want to say controversial but it was gnarly because it's just like whoa like there's like bodies on the walls like oh you know hey what up twin what up oh what cool uh i do but i can't look at it right now but yeah i'd love to see it man hell yeah actually post it what the hell yeah, I'm a big fan of Magic the Gathering too. Like uh, I used to play that when I was younger. It was so sick. Like, uh, yeah, a really big fan of the art. I don't know how good I was. I would kind of choose some of my uh, my deck just based on looks. But uh, yeah, still really cool. It's not working. What the heck's going on there? And what I can do is, like, uh, instead of going to my history, you guys will see, like, you know, I, I don't really have my history open at all. Um, because if you hold Alt and then do Control Z, you can actually continue to just go back. It's, uh, like, extremely useful. So it's, like, you kind of, you can get pretty far with without using the, uh, you know, the history. It's, it's uh, really, really cool. Very cool. So in case you were wondering that, I'm not, like, so awesome that I don't make any mistakes. I'd love, you know, to tell you guys that I was, but uh, I can't lie to you like that. I can't lie to you like that. Am I the only one who feels Din has a very prince-like aura today? <laughs> it's because it's a magical day! Yes, thank you, thank you. I am the Prince of Gryffindor. Nice, he is a prince. I am the Prince of Princes. What is it? The Prince of Parties. Where's your party now? Oh, so good. Alright, now I'm gonna do something a little crazy right now. Wasn't that crazy? Then nothing even happened. I know, it wasn't that crazy, but it is kind of crazy because I, uh, that is a painted layer. Like, it's, whew, actual color on there. Everything else in that layer is pretty much just, like, black and white. I'm just adding, like, darks to stuff. Uh, so... Yeah, it's very important, very important, very big, because that means anything below that, if I try to highlight under there, like, watch. Keep in mind, this is the spot I'm working with right here. If I try to, like, highlight under it's like, what? Now there's this little spot there, so that's why I kind of avoid painting over stuff until the time is right, kind of, so to say. Something like that. So to say, kind of. Awesome. Anyone just tuning in, thanks for coming out. It's me, uh, your humble host and magical friend. Just out of 
Potions class, Din Potter. Nah, just kidding. It's me, Din Money. What's up? Thanks for coming out. Uh, if you like game art stuff, definitely give me a follow. I do this stuff every Tuesday from 4 to 6 P to the M. Pacific Standard Time. Awesome. And we are painting this character right now. Uh, we're doing the uh, kind of the final phase of it. She will be for a uh, like a visual novel dating game. And yeah, she is the very like cute magical instructor for an upcoming game called Faulty Apprentice. For more information, check out my Patreon below. For more uh, behind the scenes looks, I even got some playable demos and stuff already. So it's gonna be super sick. The next one uh, is gonna be the archery uh, test. So it's gonna be super super cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe some people didn't know that. <laughs> That's funny. You're right, Twin. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's so funny that it kind of derailed me a little bit. All right, sweet. Uh, neato. Neat, neat -o. So I'm just looking at it. I almost want to get some like kind of like fur going on in... Uh, in this and what I'm gonna I'm just gonna try and do something right now just a little a little crazy maybe yeah okay cool uh, that's a little too uniform though my idea was I'm just gonna like cut out a little bit of the shadow and kind of like cut it in like a more like fur pattern because sometimes like I remember I was you know like natural instinct is you know killer instinct <laughs> Django wins monster combo now natural instinct is you're gonna want to grab like a fur brush or something like that and be like all right i have to make this all like fur you know and it's like uh yeah watch this let's just do that right now so it's like yeah we can do that okay cool now there's like a fur texture on it and it's like okay yeah that's technically fur i guess you know but uh Maybe there's a more like artistic way to do that. Like we don't have to show every single strand of fur to let people know that, you know, there's it's furry material up there. Uh, Mecha Prime, hey, what's up? Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. If you give me a follow, that'd be really cool. Hit that heart button, you'll hit me in the heart. So that's a little weird saying that if you're a guy. Sorry, I apologize for that. Anyone that had to was actually if anyone was looking in the camera and accidentally made eye contact with me during that. I do apologize. I, I felt a little weird about that too. <laughs> but cool. All right. So yeah, again, what I was going to say, let's get a little fur look on here without painting completely fur, like grabbing like a fur photo texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out a little bit and I want to try to not have this be too uniform. Last time we cut it, it was like three, three, three. You know, and uh, we don't want that. I don't want it to be too much of a pattern, so we want to watch out for that. So now, let's. Uh, so this is the base shadow layer. That's probably hard for you guys to see, but watch. Just cut that out. Maybe I can lower it down a little bit more. We'll get a little more. And uh, I have this cool selection. Let me. I'm just moving to the side really quick. You know, selections, schmlexins. All right, cool. So I have this nice little line here. I'm gonna try to use that as a little reference point, and let's just bring it down right there, and let's just delete again. All right, cool. Now you see, just having that little jaggedy right there, it's just like, boom, and it shot a signal to you guys' brains, and it's just like, hey, that's fur right there. You know, and that's really cool, right? Because when you think about it, when you're looking like a bear, like a cat, you know, maybe not cats aren't the best example, but like, if you're so up close to them, you look at like an animal, I see like a panther or something, you don't see every strand of hair, you just see like the parts where the light's hitting and it's glimmering. And how you show that, oh, uh, Gecko, thanks for the follow, really appreciate it. Awesome. How you show that, like, where you kind of, how you show the highlight, it really says a lot about, like, the skin, or, like, whatever material you're trying to show. Like, it's uh, super, super duper cool. And maybe we could even do the same thing over here on the tail. Maybe. We totally can. I don't even know why I said maybe. Oh, gosh. All right, cool. Anyone who's tuning in, thanks for coming out. It's me, your humble host, in money. Just got out of potions class with Snape. You know, I'll Snape. God, am I right? Ugh. And then, like, the fat lady, she can't even sing. Ugh. So, awesome. Let's do it. That did nothing. I am a failure. All right. Well, I guess there wasn't really much uh, shadow right there. So, let's not, let's not freak out. Again, I told you guys, you're not allowed to freak out on me. All right. So, let's go to that new overlay layer that we made. 
Wait a second, I think I have an idea here why that didn't work. Nope, okay, cool. I thought the tail was in a separate layer. <laughs> no, it's not. Alright, back to the point. Alright, cool. So now we have that cool selection with some, you know, jaggedy edges. And it's important that the, the edges, the little the slices, the jaggediness I make on them, is like going with the fur. You know, going with the, the stroke, like, you know, with the form. Like, again, we used that, uh, this little kind of line that was already in the ear as like a reference point, a direction to kind of like, oh, okay, we'll kind of just riff off of that. So let's do that same thing here. Instead of cutting away from the shadow, which we can't because there's just not really any shadow right there. You know, so let's go ahead and try the opposite. I'm going to use that cut, and we're just going to use a highlight. Let's just see what happens right there. Ooh, okay. It was, it was all right. That's, it wasn't as much as we'd like, but that's all right. All right, we're not going to give up yet. And I want to keep in mind, okay, as at this point, it's the highest light, so it's like, okay, light's coming from over there. We almost set a rule with that. It's like, light's coming a little lower on that than technically I'd like it, so I might need to go and move that. Move that. That's all right, though. That's all right. I'm not going to freak out. So let's kind of shove this one a little more down there. And basically how this, where the highlight comes on the angle, like I'd rather this highlight be up here. So I'm going to try to draw a little extra on this one and then we'll fix that one. So, all right, cool. We got it right here. Add a little highlight. Oh, no. Let's cut it out from the shadow. That does nothing either. This is a weird layer. So let's, let's try the highlight thing. And I'm going to make it invisible so you guys can see. All right, cool. Just a little bit right there. That did not very much, but that's, that's all right. Let's add a little bit more to it. But I want to keep in mind where these shadows end or this highlight ends is basically where it's telling like how wide the tail is right there. Like how wide this highlight is is like you know you can you can see it's really easy to tell over here because it's like oh the highlights in here shadow on this side shadow on this side it's like okay it's that thick you know so it's uh it's very important to think about oh hey uh, later Arios thanks for coming out man later or uh, welcome back next. <laughs> I didn't even notice you left. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, now that we moved it up, let's see if we can cut out any shadow. No, still no. All right, that's all right. Let's try cutting out a little bit down here. And again, I'm let me let me zoom in on that so you guys can see this. So if we have this almost like we've almost kind of hinted at there's a cast shadow from her like shoulder on right here, this little line. So again, we can just use that as a little riff point. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut way up there. I may just add one more little dot right there, and maybe one more down here. All right, let's see what happens when we delete that. All right, whoa, whoa, that's a little too too gnarly, right? So there's a couple things we can do. We can a freak out, dude. I told you guys that's not even an option. Don't freak out, okay? So we're not even gonna mention that as an option. So b, you can erase away a little bit of it. Let's try that right now. Let me just hide the selection for you. Let's erase it just a little bit. Cool. Ooh, that looks kind of pretty. So pretty. Ooh, wow. Nice. Cool. So I like that. Uh, that's that's chill for me. I almost want to get a little. Uh, this is so far in the back and it's so dark. I think we're gonna need to use some crazy out of the box thinking right now. No, it's not that out of the box, but uh, it is going to be a little crazy. So let's, I'm just going to draw with my lasso tool. Uh, if you are having trouble making those kind of jagged lines, think like Ninja Turtles, your Raphael, or like, you know, uh, sorry, Leonardo. Like, choo, 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 choo. You know, have fun with it, you know, so that'll help you. Or like, uh, get a little like jerky with your hand, you know, that'll help, help too. All right, so right now, we are in a normal layer. Oh my god, a normal layer! Why are you freaking out to normal layer? All right, Gizmo, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Anyone that's tuning in, hey, what's up? Nice to meet you, Din Money. You're a good friend and humble host. All right, we're designing a character for a dating sim right now, so it's really cool. We're like a visual novel type game. Okay, excellent. We got this little highlight. Let's get some blue right now. What? Blue? Why would you paint blue on orange? I think Din's gone cuckoo. No, I haven't gone cuckoo you guys who even says cuckoo anymore all right cool and let's just add a little bit on there oh all right nothing big yeah it's actually almost a little even too much normally i don't think it's that it would be that bad let me uh i don't want to get that close to the edge of it let's, let's try just like that and we need to go all the way to the edge yeah it's just too much all right just a little bit right there 
Um, I just wanted to just kind of establish a little bit of that because it goes so far into the darkness. You know, as I mentioned before, if you're doing cute characters, a good way to soften them up a little bit is to not go super dark with the shadows. Yeah, you're going to have to to get a 3D look, but you can still go in with a little like cools and blues and that kind of stuff to you know, make it a little less scary because it's just like, you know, it's scared of the dark. It's like, who wants to go in that shadow right there? I don't want to go in there. That's crazy. Oh, man. Okay, uh, I freaked out. Oh, God damn, Mr. Mr. Epic Hysteria. Well, I'm not surprised if you're epically hysterical. Then, yeah. <laughs> Okay, things are coming out, dude. I'm gonna do my best to keep you from freaking out from now on. I'm freaking out because it froze again. Uh, I hope it didn't freeze. Yikes. You should you should voice the sound effects for Star Wars games. They'd be quite oh that'd be sick. I'd love to, man. That's funny, I'm gonna actually go see Star Wars right after the stream. By myself. Because I'm not a really lonely, sad person. <laughs> nah, just because I don't think anyone else wants to go with me. But I wanna see it again so bad. I need to go. So it's what I'm be doing immediately after this. Alright, cool. Uh, that'd be funny. That's so neat. Uh, I never, to be honest, I never thought of that when making cute characters. Oh, cool. Mecha Prime. Yeah, it's a, it's a little something, you know, it's like, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, there's no science to prove this other than just my own experience, of course, like, uh, but it's just like, think of it, just old pain, like very serious stuff, you know, it's like, yeah, it's gonna go from light to dark, all intense, you know, but... This is a cute character, it's super fun, you know, and you kind of want the colors and the style to reflect that. Yeah, there's tons of ways we can make this style look like cuter. Like, if I was using, like, a good example is my Princess Peach that I was working on. That one, it's got, like, super, uh, maybe we can bust that out really quick, actually, just because that would be a really great thing to talk about right now. Let's use this little ad screen. Alright, cool. Alright, well, actually, this isn't in a completed image, so we can't even use that. But, uh, yeah, let me get that for you guys. So, yeah, using, like, the softs, like, it's a really great way to soften up the character. And having the blues, you can get really stylized, like I did Princess Peach, where it's, like, there's no real, like, uh, darks anywhere. Let's break that out right now. Photoshop this. All right, cool. So, you see how light she is? And it's just, like, look on the hair, how soft and fluffy that is. Yeah, there's ways, like, you know, we could, uh... We could go that way with this other character and she'd be super cute, but, uh, yeah, it'd be, she'd be super cute, but, again, we have to keep in mind what this is going to be for, and since this character has to also be around these other characters that aren't necessarily this cute, she has to be cute within the constraints of the whole game look and feel, you know, so that's why she is a little, has to be a little darker and follow some rules. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Cool, I'm gonna thicken up that a little bit, but we can do that as a final touch, that's not a big deal. Let's get this hand, the hand is like a, uh, it's looking a little dismal. It's like, uh, nobody, she's like, I've been holding my hand up here for so long, and no one ever came to check up on me. Aw, oh, poor girl, alright. Give me five. That's, give me five, god. Alright, cool. Yeah, look at these, look at these shadows on there. I think that's some from this original shadow layer. Alright, so you can see all these, like, darks on there. It's just not, uh, it's just too, too gray. It's not, like, a very, like, uh, fun, nice color. So we're gonna, we're gonna darken these in an overlay layer. Now, yeah, I'm still using black, but because it's in an overlay, it's, like, uh, it's really gonna interact with the colors behind it. So yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm able to add like some degree of lighting, but it's it's you know we're getting some of those like blood skin colors, you know, because when you look at your knuckles and that kind of stuff, you know, it's not just like Simpson one flat color. There's a lot of stuff going on, and I can use uh, I'm just gonna use white and just in the same layer, and these are little uh, little planes. View flying by. No, not those kind of planes. God, every time I say planes, you guys bring up aeroplanes. But yeah, cool. So uh, I am gonna keep in mind that these top planes can get a little more light. We can give her some uh, nail colors right now. Does anybody have any preference on that? Maybe I was thinking purple, but uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, any males freeze? I hope not. I hope it didn't freeze. I sincerely hope it didn't freeze. I am going to do a little mic check right now. Alright, cool. Mic's back on. Sweet. See, some of these we might need to air out this hat a little bit. Let me go back to this like base color layers and then quickly grab all that, all this underside. Because I have this like flat layer right here. Let me bring that to the top. Cool. So you see, flat color, I can easily select that. Now let's, uh, and again, we're not going to use dark right now. I'm going to, and. I want to be very gentle with this blue. I don't want it to be super blue because I don't know where she's going to be, you know, because this has to work in all kinds of places. But yeah, I just want to add a little bit in the distance there just to kind of separate it from her hair and that. See how just that little bit kind of pushes it back a little bit? Pretty cool, huh? You might be wondering yourself, how are you doing that? It's almost as if it's selected still. Well, that's great. That's a great observation. It is selected still, actually, because I just hid the selection doing the good old command shift H. My favorite command. Nah, it's not really my favorite, but it, it is very, very good. Well, then what is your favorite command? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if I have a favorite command. Does anybody else have a favorite command? I guess my favorite command would be... uh. I want to say transform? Would that be it? Yeah. I don't know. That's probably what I use the most. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. LP Chan is slacking with their mod duties. LP Chan is always slacking with all of her studio duties. Any guy, anytime you guys can give her crap about that, please do for me. Because she deserves it. Giving me crap. Throwing out cookies. So <laughs> oh, God. I shouldn't even brought that up. Awesome. Chill. Alright, so we do need to get a little dark in there. <laughs> but then you said you're not supposed to go totally dark. I know, but oh! Now we have to get kind of dark at some point, you know. How else are you supposed to know the power of the dark side? Do you expect to follow that narrow, dogmatic view of the Jedi? JK, I'm light side for life, like always. I've tried doing like a light side, I mean dark side in uh, Knights of the Old Republic and stuff, I just can't do it. She can't do it. She's too mean, even though it is a video game. It's like, I'm like, they're not real people. It doesn't matter, but it's just like, I just can't be that mean. Uh, I'll never join you. Now, let's work on this skirt a little bit. If any of me was wondering, this skirt is in a different layer. Maybe you're thinking I grabbed that. Uh, pattern from online, you're thinking wrong. Nice. Whoa, all right, let's create an overlay. What I want to do is just kind of separate some of these aspects of this skirt. Just some of the uh, little skirt, uh, little flaps, I guess they're called. I don't know. Any ladies in the house want to correct us or let me know what these would be called? Skirt flaps. As you can see, it's like uh, some of these are a little hard to cover. All right, now it's cool. All right, sweet. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna just draw a dark line on each side. It's gonna really give some separation, so it's almost like casting a shadow under each one of these. I just gotta really be careful and like really uh, try to push some of these like patterns. Uh, push them away kind of thing not like a I don't know how to explain it but I gotta watch out for them so I really don't want them to stand out since there's such like huge fluctuations and I'm using like an overlay layer it's like the overlay like affects the purple a lot more than the orange right there so I gotta keep that in mind Alright, so let's add a little cast shadow from this. Now I'm just back in a straight, dark, normal layer. So this I can just, just mow over some of those. Alright, cool. Now we almost need a cast shadow from that. You might be wondering why I haven't 
done that yet. It's not included in this one. Because that is actually in a separate layer. Yeah, cool. Calling that... Calling them that now. Skirt flaps. Yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know what to call them, right? Cool. Anyone... Anyone win the bet yet? Oh, dude. Yeah. Who knows? I guess we're, it's time to bet again. It's like a... It'll just have to be like a lifetime bet. It's like, if she ever does it, like I'll be on my deathbed and it's just like... Did P. John ever set up a Twitch alerts? Yeah, that'll be in my will. It's like, I'll leave you one of my tablets, but you have to have set up your Twitch ads. I mean, your uh, Twitch uh, alerts things. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. Alright, let's, let's go and detail her like eyes a little bit right now. I think we're getting there. Like, we're almost to that, like, uh... Flattening stage. I want to find the, uh... Eyeglasses. Excellent. Okay. No, 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 no. So. Cool. Nice. Alrighty. Let us... I'm trying to group these really quick. This is something I will name. Nah, just because... Yeah, it's, uh... I don't want to lose that. Which is easy. Groups... That's the groups I'll name because they contain a lot of stuff. It's very important. Yeah, because we got six minutes left. Oh, gosh. Fish golly! So if anybody has any last-minute questions, definitely let me know now. I'll forever hold you a piece. Actually, we probably should be looking for someone to raid right now. So maybe maybe we'll end it here. That's, that's good. Well, uh, I'll finish the face on my own without you guys holding me back. So excellent. Let's uh, let's look for someone. Let's cast some sort of enchantment raid charm. So yeah, thank you everyone for coming. If anyone knows any good person to raid right now, let's just do that. I gotta get going before Star Wars. So yeah, thank you everyone for coming. I hope you enjoyed this. That was a super cool uh, stream. I really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me and. Uh, Taking a walk down character lane. Let's put her glasses back on so she can see us. So uh, let's do a little. You know. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Heart. There you go. Thank you guys. She says thank you. Awesome. See, special thanks from me to you. Awesome, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming to the stream. I'll be on next week. Back to normal. So, hope everybody had a good holiday break. Because you're going to be stuck with me for the rest of the year now. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Because you will never have that much fun ever again. Nice. Ah, cool. Uh, Sam Peterson's streaming right now. Cool. I owe that guy a raid or two, so... Everyone, let's just do this. Let's go over there. Uh, let me link you guys this. Next stream will be next week from uh, 4 to 6. So same time next week, Tuesday. Hopefully we can do a Saturday stream or some uh, stream this weekend. But, you know, it's a uh, studio. It's just getting so, like, uh, busy. I'm really happy about that. But, like, uh, you know, I just can't... Uh, just don't have as much time to stream as I'd like, so uh, yeah, let's just go. Uh, let's go raid this guy. Doing my raid. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's do it. All right, thank you guys again. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Wish me luck at Star Wars! <laughs>